Hey guys, it's Triple Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to yet another one of my Fortnite's top five videos. But before we jump into today's top five, I do quickly want to mention that for today's video and today's video only, I'll be doing a pretty awesome giveaway for every thousand likes that we hit on this video. I'll be giving away a $10 PSN or Xbox card. To enter, it's so easy. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what platform do you play Fortnite on? Is it PC, PS4? or Xbox One, and if you have a Twitter account, please attach your Twitter username to your comment. It makes it a lot easier if you win for me to contact you. So last week we went over five reasons you're not winning in Fortnite, and when you get to end game in Fortnite, it's like a game within a game. It's kind of its own little thing. Now, getting to the end game can be sometimes difficult as well, and in this video I want to go over five reasons why you're dying in Fortnite. There might be some mistakes you aren't aware that you're making, or there might be a certain way you're playing that is really screwing you over. So in today's video, I'll go over five common reasons why a lot of people die here in Fortnite. So starting things off here in the number five spot, it's really easy, especially for new players, to constantly be playing it safe. And playing it too safe, being too cautious is actually kind of a curse because if you're somebody that's constantly avoiding gunfights or running away from gunfights or you land in really remote areas of the map just so you don't have to engage in those battles, you're really hurting yourself in the long run because when it comes to it, when you do get towards the end of the game and even if you play crazy safe, you'll have those matches where you will end up in the top 10, top 5. You don't know what to do. You you panic and you die because you aren't used to engaging in these gunfights and a lot of people like playing it safe and it's always so frustrating as uh, someone who is actively trying to engage in gunfights being killed by somebody who is camping in a bush and you can see now how many kills players have and they have that one kill that they just got on you and you really think about it, it's like what is that person thinking? Like it's obviously they, they want to get the win but Playing like that is not going to help you get better at the game, so if you want to stop dying so much, try to engage in more gunfights because that way you'll get a lot better, and when you are in those situations, when you're forced into those situations, you'll know what to do and you'll get a lot more kills and you won't die as much. So for the number four spot, I've always talked about in the past how important building and how important height advantage is, especially if you want to win towards the end game, if, you, if you're building, there's there's a very high chance you're gonna get the W, but building too high can be something that can really screw you over, and this is a common thing that a lot of new players do. If you build too high and for some reason your base gets destroyed, which is quite common, right? People don't want you to live, so they'll try to destroy that bottom of your base, and if you do fall down, your base does crumble, and you built way too high, you're either gonna take a ton of fall damage or you're going to just completely die. One of the more common scenarios that I find myself in when it comes to building too high is whenever I'm playing and somebody else is trying to outbuild me that doesn't have the high ground. So I might be on a mountain or, or a hill or on top of a building, whatever, and I already have that height advantage and the other person who is in the other half of the circle is trying to get that advantage on me as well, but since they have the lower ground, they have to build incredibly high and that gives me a great opportunity to just wipe out the bottom of their base and then they fall, either die, or have really low health, and I just one-shot them. So, building too high is never good. You always want to be three to four stories, but again, you want to make sure you're building on top of something, or you want to be on the high ground, so you don't have to build as high. So, keep it three to four stories, anything higher than that, you're looking at taking a lot of fall damage. So coming in at the number three spot on my list, gathering materials is something that is actually really dangerous, but it is definitely necessary. And for the end game, you have to have a lot of materials. It's so important, right? You need wood, you need brick, and you need steel. Now, getting the majority of materials usually comes through killing other players and then taking their stuff, but there's 
definitely going to be that time in the match where you have to go and knock down trees and destroy some rocks so you have at least something to start off with. There are so many players out there when they're getting materials, they kind of think that they're in their own world. They're on their own server and no one can touch them. There's nobody else, right? But that's not the case. When you're getting materials, you're just this huge target because first of all, you're making sound and if you're hitting trees, it's so easy to see those trees just disappear and you know that someone's there. So when you're actually doing this, don't just stand there and hit the, the tree or whatever you're trying to knock down. Don't just stand in one spot. At least bounce around, move around. So you're not an easy target. And when you're done breaking something down, instantly take out your gun and look around. Don't just run around with your pickaxe from spot to spot because if someone does pop out, at least you're somewhat ready and you don't have your pickaxe out. So remember guys, when you are gathering materials, just remember that that is not the only thing you have to focus on. Don't be so locked in and focused on getting that 999 wood. Look around the map, there are other players. And also, when you're gonna gather material, do it at the start of the match because as you progress throughout the game, you're gonna get kills and there's a good chance that other players are gonna have a lot of materials as well. So you don't need to get a thousand wood, a thousand brick at the start of the match. It's definitely not necessary. So coming in at the number two spot on my list, we have one thing that is really tough to correct. It's just something that happens naturally, especially if you're new to Fortnite, and that is being nervous, right? Being nervous really wrecks you in this game. The confident player, the more relaxed player is going to see a lot more kills, is gonna die less and get significantly more wins. And when Fortnite first came out, I was so nervous, especially in the game. I just, I just couldn't move. I was paralyzed, so, so scared. But now that I'm more relaxed and I'm playing an end game, I'm not nervous at all. I just get more wins because I'm not scared to move. I'm not scared to make plays. So I can't sit here and just say, guys, don't be nervous. Relax a little bit. You can't just flip a switch. So you have to get into those situations. You have to get some wins under your belt. When you do that, you'll get more confident and those those nerves will slowly disappear. So coming in at the number one spot on my list, the one thing that I think is people killed every single match, and I experience this every single game I play, people being way too over aggressive. Now, let me clarify what I mean by that because I've talked about this before in previous top fives and people don't really seem to understand what I mean by over aggressive. Now, not being over aggressive doesn't mean just camping, right? There's a difference between being aggressive and then over aggressive because over aggressive can really get you killed. Like for example, if you have 10 HP and you rush somebody, you might get lucky and get the kill, sure, but you can't do that consistently. You have to know when to rush, when to push, and when not to. Now, of course, this really depends on your skill level at Fortnite because the better you are at the game, of course, you can pull off these amazing plays. You can be really aggressive because you know what you're doing, you're experienced, and you're just overall better at the game than the average player. But for the average player, this can be kind of a fine line. Right? You have to know when to push and when not to push because there are times where you absolutely have no choice. Either you rush or you die. But then there are times where you can make a decision. You can either sit back and kind of wait out a situation or you can just rush up there and you know you're taking a big risk. When I play Fortnite, I definitely do my fair share of rushing. I do my fair share of sitting back. Of course, again, it depends on the situation, but I always die more when I'm rushing. Not significantly more. I do get a fair share of kills while rushing, but when I'm being rushed, I definitely get significantly more kills than death. And when I actually actually do die, I can really say, hey, that guy really outplayed me, he was way better than me, or of course, you know, the other player just gets that crazy lucky headshot. But the point is, guys, when you're being rushed in Fortnite and you're getting all these kills, Sometimes you can just really tell when someone's being really, really over aggressive and you know that they're not there with their skill level. Again, there are players you can see that that's kind of natural for them and they're good at it. And there's players who are just doing it because why not, right? They might see other players, uh, especially on YouTube going, wow, you know, they're really good. They're aggressive. Let me mimic that. And it doesn't really work out all that well for them. So there we have it guys. Those are five reasons you're probably dying a lot here in Fortnite about 
Battle Royale. And just to clarify quickly one more time when we just talked about the whole over aggressive thing, uh, I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't be aggressive at all because if you're a new player, you actually kind of want to be put into some of those situations because that's how you learn and that's how you improve. But you have to find that nice balance. You have to know when to sit back and you have to know when to be aggressive because doing too much of one thing isn't a good thing. And of course, as you guys get better at the game, being more aggressive becomes natural and you can be more and more aggressive. So there we have it guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Remember guys, every thousand likes today's video gets and only today's video, I'll be giving away a $10 PSN or Xbox card to enter, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, comment what platform you play Fortnite on and if you have a Twitter username, please throw it on there. It makes it a lot easier for me to contact you. Besides that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.